Welcome to the video where we are going to do one example on the upper level division of chain rule with multivariable calculus. So here's the example. Let's find partial derivative dz with respect to u and dz with respect to v for the given function. First of all, I don't like how they write it in the row. Visually, it's just not very clear what is happening. But I do see that z, that's the main function, which is f of x and y, depends on x and y, not u and v. That means that u and v are hidden inside of the x and y. And then they give me later in the list how this dependence is described via functions, x of u and v and y of u and v. I do like looking at this in as a row, so I like writing it as the column, a list, I would say. x is, and I would even say like so, z equals 3x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. x equals 3u plus 2v. y equals, let me skip one line, y equals 4u minus v. Now I see what is going on. X is the linear function of u and v. Y is the linear function of u and v. Z is the quadratic function of x and y. Some of you might want to plug in these and then take a derivative. X into x, y into y. We're not supposed to do that. We're actually supposed to use formulas y. Because if you have 55 equations for 75 dimensions, it will take you a while to plug everything in. So. Uh, we're supposed to use formulas. And we gave you those formulas and the diagram. Here it is. This is a diagram of how to dig into very last variable u that is hidden inside of function y and inside of function x. So x and y are functions of two variables. When z is also a function of two variables, so two dimensions inside of the two dimensions. I don't usually memorize this formula and I'll show you why. What I do, I can describe you that we're basically digging into the levels of these equations. Z should be differentiated with respect to U, but Z depends on X. So you first dig into the pocket, say it's a several pockets into your in your pants and the last pocket has a candy. So the first pocket you need to unzip it will be dz with respect to x, then x will be uh, opened. And now from x you dig into the last pocket which has a candy which is u. So I just see it like this. But then you remember that there has there is one more pocket that also has a candy. That is a pocket y. So you're first differentiating with respect to y, dig into that pocket, so unzip it, and then get into the candy inside of the pocket u, but in the y variable. So unzip x variable, unzip y variable. And that's why, because I'm saying and, and means product. Uh, addition means or. So or this pocket with the candy or that one. And then the same thing with the other variable. You can try to memorize these formulas. I usually see it in my mind as digging into the levels of levels. So let's try to solve it. I was asked to find partial derivative of z with respect to u. But z is 3x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Where is my u? u is inside of x and also u is inside of y. So the first derivative will be with respect to x. This part will be digging into pocket of x plus and this part will be digging into pocket of y. Each of them have u inside. Product will be this digging process or unzipping each level of the pockets. The outside level of f is differentiating f with respect to x. Derivative of f with respect to x is 6x, 6x minus 2y, right? Then uh, you 
as you remember, you treat x as a variable and everything else as a constant. y squared gave me 0. Then y... So, so now we're going to multiply, there's not enough space, times, now I can dig in to the equation for x and differentiate that with respect to the variable we need at the last moment. At the last moment, we're looking for a candy called u, so that's the last goal. Let's call this equation number one. So now we're differentiating equation number one with respect to that last variable we have. X depends on two variables, u and v. We're looking for u, so now you treat u as a variable. Derivative of 3u is 3. Derivative of plus 2v is 0. Done. Plus. Plus means, oh, don't forget, z also depends on y, and y also has that variable you need, u. So let's repeat the whole process. Differentiate z with respect to y. With respect to y, it's going to be 0 minus 2x, this piece. Minus 2xy gives me minus 2x. And then y squared now gives me plus 2y times digging into pocket of y. Let's call it equation number 2. And that equation depends on two variables, u and v check which variable we're looking at because at this moment we actually can make a decision at these two moments we can make a decision of which variable we need u or v we're looking for u so for u minus v gives me four and that is the answer so as you can see it is pretty doable so we differentiate it with respect to x and then we differentiate z with respect to x and then we differentiated x with respect to u plus z with respect to y and then y with respect to u to dig into the candy which we called u variable at the very end of this diagram now let's do v these are also candy at the very end of this diagram repeat the whole process everything will be the same except this last step don't you see that let's see again dz with respect to v well z does not depend on v in the explicit way. I can see it depends on x and y. So we have to do both. Let's dig into the first pocket. Differentiating z with respect to x gives me 6x minus 2y times. And now I look at the equation number 1 and differentiating with respect to v. Then gives me 2, not 3 this time because 2v gives me 2. Plus, now we differentiating z with respect to y. And we have the same result as before, minus 2x plus 2y times derivative of y with respect to v, which using the new variable we need this time. And that is minus 1, as you can see, minus v gives you minus 1. And that is a solution. So, some, we need to simplify this. Um, let me rewrite it, I guess. dz over du is distribute. 3 times 6 is 12x minus 6y minus 8x plus 8y, which is 12x minus 8x is 4x minus 6y plus 8y is 2y. Let me check. 4 looks good to me. 6y. That does not look good at all. Did you catch the mistake? Uh, anything? There is a calculation mistake. This should be 10. Because, uh, this should be 18. So the last answer will be 10x. 18 because 3 times 6 is 18 18 x minus 8 x is 10 x check everything carefully now dz with respect to v is 2 times 6 12 x minus 4 y plus 2 x minus 2 y which is 12 x plus 2 x 
is going to be 14x 14x and then minus 6y let me check looks good the thing is we're not supposed to give the answer in terms of x and y we're supposed to give the answer in terms of the very last variable we're asked to find we're asked to locate derivative with respect to u and v x and y are intermediate pocket the last pocket is actually the one that has u, uh, u and v in it so the last step is plug and that's where my list comes in handy u no plug x equals and y equals go back into the notes x is 3u plus 2v 3u plus 2v and y is 4u minus v 4u minus v so finally the answer will be dz with respect to u is 10x is 3u minus minus 2v plus 2y is 4u minus v. I'm going to skip the simplification and I will give you the answer. The answer in terms of u and v will be 38u plus 18v. Let's put this in the box. This is derivative of z with respect to u. And then derivative of z with respect to v is... So I'm looking at this box now. And before it was this one. 14 times x 3u plus 2v minus 6y is 4u minus v equals... Skipping calculations, you should check algebra by yourself. 18u plus 34v. You can ask the question, why did we have to plug at the very end? Because two ways of explaining it. We ask you to find derivative with respect to the very last variable. So why are you giving the answer with respect to intermediate ones? You have to give it derivative with respect to u should have u and v. Derivative with respect to v should have u and v. And the second point of view is uh, next question, say part B. Part. If I ask you to find dz with respect to u at, say, 0, 1. And then what is that? So how do you know what to plug? Is it x? Is it y? Well, you have to go back and check. It is the very last, last variable, u and v, not x and y. Since this is u and v, you have to plug it anyways, or else how will you find it here? It's not x and y. So that is why it is convenient. It's also convenient for computer science purposes. When you code all of this in the computer, computer should know where to plug uh, the values. So... Let's plug it 38 times 0 plus 18 times 1 gives 18. Nice. And then what is derivative of z with respect to v also 0 and 1? This is u and v and I also plug it in. So it's going to be 18 times 0 plus 34 times 1. That is 34. And that's lots of information, if you remember. Derivative of z with respect to u is positive, means its rate of change, so the original function is increasing. And we're going to learn how to find minimum and maximum using these values. So it is important for you to learn how to perform these two steps. Step A, part A, is to find a derivative we are asking you to find. We could ask you to only find derivative with respect to x. Then you are done uh, very fast. Because derivative with respect to x will be just 6x minus 2y. But if we do ask you to keep digging deeper into the pocket. So derivative with respect to u. Then now you know that it will be still derivative with respect to x. 
times derivative of x with respect to u, but then there is one more variable should be considered. It also has u, so it also has a candy in the pocket. Derivative with respect to y times derivative of y with respect to u. And this is how I imagining it without any formulas. So in my mind, I don't need to remember these formulas. I just see that it makes sense that since both x and y have a candy u inside, I need to differentiate with respect to each, the original function with respect to x, then get into the pocket with the candy x with respect to u. So that's why these always match. And then add the second possibility, which is called or. This pocket or open the other pocket with a candy. That is z with respect to y and y with respect to u. Both have the candy. And that's why you should consider both digging situation or both types of pockets. Left pocket and right pocket with inner pocket inside. This is my way of seeing it. Of course, you could just memorize the formula and then plug it in. Basically, what I did, I just solve it right away. But some people do write down everything in steps. So, partial derivative of x, uh, of z with respect to x is here. Some people find it separately times partial derivative of x with respect to u plus partial derivative of z with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to u. So that's exactly the formula I just showed you. Some people find everything separately in the list and then plug it in. Seems like my way is faster. So try both ways and see which one you like because it should be comfortable for you. So have fun with partial derivative in multivariable calculus.